Britt, thank you. Each and every one of us have different ways we express our feelings, but not understanding a loved one's level of emotional depth could cause a strain in your relationship. This morning, returning to our mental toughness expert this morning, Eric Rittmeyer, to learn more. Eric, good morning to you. Daniel, good morning. Thanks for having me back. No problem. Let's first talk about the idea of giving and getting when it comes to feelings. Yeah, here's the issue. A lot of us in our relationships, we're not we're not totally 100% sure of our partner's level of emotional depth. So where I might be totally satisfied in the relationship, the other person might not be because I'm just not hitting it quite deep enough. So it's critically important to understand each person's level of feelings and be, to become good emotional detectives, I call it. That is so important. You also have a three-step formula for determining someone's level of emotional capacity. What does that mean? Walk me through that. Yeah, detect, inspect, and reflect. So it starts with detect. This is just getting a very good idea of where this person's level is. Are they a level 10 or a level 4, or level 5? Do they get upset when they watch movies? How are their prior relationships? How do they handle conflict? This is where we get a really good idea of where they are currently and what we need to provide to them. Let's say you have a relationship where the damage is already done. What advice do you have for people, let's say, looking to rebuild or restore that connection? Yeah, that's a great question, Daniel. I get that all the time. And here, it all starts with self-awareness. These are not easy conversations to have, and not even just in relationships with husband, wife, boyfriend, girlfriend, but just interpersonal relationships with friends and family. It all starts with self-awareness, understanding the things we say, the things we do. It has impacts on other people. So it's having these difficult conversations to maybe apologize, maybe get an understanding of what do you need that I'm not providing for you. So it's having these difficult talks that a lot of people don't want to have, unfortunately. And I guess to sum it all up for us, Eric, just take it, just don't be so serious. Yeah, we got, you know, we just got to get back to the basics, Daniel. It's not that difficult. We're outraged culture. Everybody's upset for no reason. Right. If we can have these conversations, maybe then we can realize what the other person really wants, what they need out of a relationship. Then we can make a decision. Yes, I can provide what you're looking for, or no, I cannot. We can move forward after that. All right, Eric Ritt, my mental toughness expert, joining us live this morning. Eric, always good to talk with you again. Thank you. Likewise, Dan. Have a great day, buddy. Thank you. You as well. Now we're going to see what's coming up next at 7. Here's Angela. Hey, Daniel. Good morning to you, President.